Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Dylan. We are back here with another Madden 21 tip video. And today we're going to be cooking up some ace slot offset defense that I know a lot of people were struggling with. The person that gave me this idea, his name was Antonio Howard in the YouTube comments. Appreciate you checking out the strong close video. I'm willing to help out like whoever. If y'all need defense for something, make sure to comment it down below. I'll hit the practice mode and we will figure things out. But today we're going to be going over ace offset. Now ace offset, right? In my mind, I think of it more as a running formation because once you stop the run I feel like the passes aren't really that good unless you're playing like Mr. Civil or someone like a really top tier player that kind of masters the offense but pretty much I think if you stop a one trap the power out the inside zone the offense is cooked and we're also going to have pretty good coverage behind this so we're going to be able to stop the stock post play we're going to be able to stop level sales so um, if you could do me a favor though make sure to like the video and also subscribe it helps me out a lot we're trying to hit one K subs by the end of December. We're almost at 500, halfway there. DHL support recently, but yeah, I mean, if you do enjoy this, make sure that that's up button. But today, um, pretty much the defense, same as before. We're in the big nickel formation. So in this defense right here, we need to change our zone drops. So we're gonna go over to uh, curl flats right here. We're gonna put them on 20 yards, and later we'll put them on default for another reason. But in this one right here, we're putting on 20 yards. We're coming out in the big nickel formation because again, I feel like this is more of a run heavy formation. Formation. I feel like big nickel is the easiest to stop the run and also make sure you know when you first come out in big nickel You know uh, the packages packages is a big thing make sure to hit your right stick once to the left Boom, you get the slot CB package right here and come out and cover three sky. Now, we're on the defense side of the ball now. Your user is going to be this linebacker right here, aka the linebacker kind of on the receiver side. And all we need to do to stop every run is to go ahead, hit left on the D-pad, down, pinch your D-line, left again on the D-pad, right stick up, slant outside, put your user right here. And you will be able to shoot every run. You can put them on a blitz as well. It doesn't really affect it too much in this one. But right here, we're going up against 0-1 trap. First play, right? Boom, snap the ball. We can shoot right through there. If you have, like, say, secure tackle or something, you can lay the boom, enforce, or whatever you want right there. You don't even need an ability. That's just a pretty much guaranteed tackle every time. Now, what about inside zone? Boom, inside zone. We audible the inside zone right here. Again, same exact setup. Boom, boom, slant outside. Put your user right here. You can put them in a blitz if you want. Snap the ball, boom, can run right through the gap. So you can pretty much shoot every single gap right now. And now we're gonna be going to power O right here. Power O, again on offense side of the ball, power O right here. Now this one, do not run straight through. And that's kind of why I'm kind of hesitating a little bit on 0 one trapping inside zone. Um, I don't know if I'm showing that because um, obviously, you know, I know the play call I'm in practice mode. But right here, power O right here, we're gonna snap the ball. If you shoot directly through, I'm gonna show it again, but I'm gonna do something completely different. Um, this time I'm gonna show it. Um, let me audible to power O right here. Boom, power O, boom, slant outside, blitz your linebacker, snap the ball. If you just run straight through, right? Okay, that time it, it didn't even work. But sometimes that guard will go ahead and pick up your linebacker if you blitz straight straight through. Now, what about the passes, okay? And I know there's a bubble in like the New England one. Honestly, I do not care about a bubble. I don't care. Like I really like if you want to take a bubble, go for it. Like really doesn't really affect me too much. So this time right here, we're gonna be going over post. And this time we're gonna do the same exact setup, okay? What we're gonna do is we're going to deep half that guy right there, our uh, circle safety on the running back side. We're gonna deep half him, right? Why are we doing that? Just in case they have a cover three bomb, you know. We don't really want to get beat over the top on that side, okay? What we're also going to do is we're going to put this DN in a hard flat. We can really put both DNs in a hard flat. And this time I'm going to show this set up right here against, um, say, Power O right here. Power O, which again is a harder run to shoot. Again, we're going to do the exact same thing. This time we have our DNs in hard flats. Let's see. Boom. You see, I was still able to shoot the gap. It doesn't matter that I'm putting less people kind of on a blitz when it comes to the run game because we're shooting the gap. I just wanted to show you all that right quick. So keep in mind. Same exact setup, as long as we have those two uh, interior D linemen right there slanted out, we can stop everyone. So really, there's no reason for me to not only rush two people. Like if you watch any of the MCS games, you know, you've seen like the good, great defensive players only rushing two people. You get crazy sheds with only rushing two people. It's kind of insane. So put your user on a blitz. This will prevent your D lineman from being pancaked as well. So now you're chilling, okay? We double flat at each side with a 20 yard uh, curl right there. So if we go to post right here, 
where do we have to worry about? So pretty much the corner route on the left side of the field is taken care of. The flat route on the left side of the field is taken care of. The corner route on the right side of the field is taken care of. That leaves the angle route and the post route. So now to guard against that post route, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this linebacker right here in a mid read. Now, why are we doing that? Pretty much we'll make it to where they have to fit the post in a window and it's going to lead to mistakes and you just have to worry about the angle route pretty much. You gotta worry about the angle route. That's the, if you guard the angle route on post right here, they're cooked. We're gonna snap the ball right here, just ignore the angle route. This time we're gonna try to fit in the post right here. We're gonna try to fit it in and that time mid read plays it really good and that's a linebacker right there too. Keep in mind, we have a slow linebacker right there. Imagine when we have a full like Taylor Mays right there. You know, it's just gonna be even better. So this time though, we're gonna run level sales and we're gonna do the same exact setup as before. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, let me make sure I uh, pinch my D-line and everything. Okay, so boom, right here. This is the setup for uh, level sales right here. Now, what do you have to worry about level sales? I'm just gonna sound the ball right here. Boom, we're gonna sound the ball. You're gonna see what really gets open. You have to worry about the kind of two little short in routes. Like you need the bait kind of the first tight end in route and then come back around. I'm gonna show how to do that right now. So we're gonna boom, same exact setup. Boom, 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 boom. Um, whoops, I accidentally messed that up. So boom. Um, oh wait, and uh, what am I doing? Inside third right here, or uh, middle, mid read right there. So this is the setup right here. Let me uh, blitz my linebacker right here and we're gonna snap the ball they're running level sales right so boom so boom we're gonna snap the ball we're on triangle we're on triangle we're on triangle we're on triangle we're on square you know what i mean like just kind of like hover over there the mid read does a good job of playing that deep end route so boom level sales is cooked post is cooked the run is cooked i i don't really know what else they could do in this formation um running this formation a little bit what i saw was they can also do something like a delay fade right here so it's boom say we're running a delay fade for whatever reason boom just be aware of like a delay fade if you're facing a good player they'll probably have some play with a delay fade but those are probably the two most annoying plays for ace offset and i know i'm only rushing two and i know some people might be like well you're not going to get no pass rush all I have to say to that is watch the NCS games. Rushing two is kind of like the wave. It's either you send six or you rush two. Now, I also have a match coverage right here that does a decent job. You know, I would say this pretty much bags like everything. But if you want to mix up a play call here and there, make sure one, you're in your coaching adjustments right here. You have your uh, uh, curl flats on default. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go in big nickel. And then we're going to go cover four palms right here. So this does a good job against all the plays as well. This time I'm just gonna uh, quick snap a post right here. You're gonna see what really gets open. Like, I mean, the running back was open, but we don't even have a speed advantage right here. And now with your linebacker right here, what you would do is, you would kind of watch the middle of the field. And I found running level sales, I would put this DN in a hard flat. So you'd be rushing three and then put him in a hard flat. And then this time we're gonna run level sale right here. And you're going to see right here, we're just going to be on like pretty much the middle of the field. Like square was open, circle's open right now, but again, that's just a speed advantage. So cover four palms does a really good job as well. Good A slot players are going to have like cover four palms, beaters, and all that. But for the most part, this is kind of how you strap like every single like dumb person that runs A slot offset. Again, to stop the run, all you need to do is pinch your D line and slant outside. Then use it right here, put them on a blitz. You can shoot every single run. Um, but yeah, man, I hope y'all did enjoy this Ace Lot offset video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and also subscribe. We got more on the way. Also, leave a comment. What do y'all want next? What like uh, formation do you want to stop next? Let me know. I love hitting the practice mode, finding defense for y'all. So just again, let me know. But other than that, man, has been your boy Dill, and I'm out. Peace, y'all.